When the adventurer sees, however distant, the purpose of their journey, they have finally arrived. The original inspiration that has been living in their imagination is no longer just a dream. It is now part of the tangible world, a legacy to leave behind and to continue beyond them. From Boston to the Bow River, a life of romance, meaning, and adventure flourished between Catherine Robb from a distinguished Boston family and a small-town Banff artist and outdoorsman named Peter White. Beginning with her secret courtship with Peter at art school, Catherine left behind a life of distinction and privilege for the wilds of the Canadian Rockies. Although her family's love of the outdoors had toughened her up with hiking and skiing in New England, nothing could have prepared Catherine for the adventure of breaking trails and sleeping in rustic cabins in the dead of winter. Always keen for new adventures, Catherine's tough Yankee roots shone in her new Rocky Mountain home. In 1930, Catherine married Peter White, and the two made Banff their home. In 1932, their sense of adventure and love of skiing led them to take on the management of the enchanting Skokie Lodge, a rustic backcountry lodge near Lake Louise. An important part of Catherine's life of adventure centered on the family artist studio, where she and Peter lived and painted the grandeur of their beloved mountains. Rays of light and swirling clouds often form the focus in many of Catherine's works, although she also painted some fine portraits and captured delightful detail of her mountain surroundings. Catherine was an important local artist, but made her most enduring mark on Banff as a philanthropist, founding such organizations as the White Museum and the Banff Public Library. She spoke at the museum's annual Back to Banff Day in June 1978. Perhaps when I shuffle off, as Mrs. Former used to say, it will be changed again to the Pete and Catherine White Foundation, as we always enjoy doing things together. We want it to always be a friendly and pleasant place to be, for everyone is welcome, Banff residents and visitors from all over the world. We hope young people will learn from the history of their past to appreciate the beauty around them. All along her life journey, Catherine was true to her original passion of helping others to do good and doing good to others. Her legacy, artistry, and adventurous spirit lives on. Eleanor Luxton was an intellectual adventurer, a gifted and prolific writer, historian, researcher, mechanical draftsman, teacher, and businesswoman. The daughter of Norman and Georgina Luxton, Eleanor grew up as an only child in Banff. At a very young age, Eleanor's passion for reading and writing was present. Even in a letter to Santa Claus as a young girl, she was not shy in expressing her desires and unique perspective. Dear Santa Claus, I am ever so sorry I am late at telling you what I want for Christmas, but I have finally decided. My set of books called The Corner House Girls is nearly complete, but I would like the one remaining book, The Corner House Girls Was Work, and a jolly little letter from you, old sport. After finishing high school in Banff, Eleanor studied at the University of Alberta, receiving degrees in history and English, followed by teacher's certification. After teaching first in a one-room school in Northern Alberta and then in Banff, she went on to study machine drafting in Ottawa. While working as a draftsman for the Canadian Pacific Railway in Montreal, she studied at Sir George Williams College, receiving her Bachelor of Science degree in 1946. Over the next decade, she continued studying towards a business degree while also lecturing at McGill University. She eventually moved back to Banff, where she dedicated her life to researching and writing about our history in the Canadian Rockies. A passionate advocate of historical preservation, Eleanor never missed an opportunity to inform the public of the importance of honoring our history. Research should have been done when the people who made our history were still living. Historic places are being rebuilt when the originals should have been saved and restored. 
Eleanor had a great appreciation for history, a pride in her family, and the tremendous foresight to preserve the Luxton home and adjacent properties through the creation of the Eleanor Luxton Historical Foundation, a legacy we are all grateful for.